feel as confident as I do in this moment when it comes to fashion and when it comes to my style. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Vanessa. Nessa, Sessa, Yaya V, all of the above, depending who you are. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a few mistakes, five mistakes that I used to make in fashion that since changing those habits, it's led me to becoming more uh, confident in my style, more content in my style. I used to style my outfit based off my body only. Now I do feel there's two parts to this in fashion and what I mean by this is I was more so focused on how sexy the outfit looked on me um, as opposed to mixing other things with that um, and I feel like within the past few months what I've done is I've let go of just simply looking sexy in an outfit I think there is a time and place for those but at the when it comes to fashion what I've learned is it's a lot more um, to do with just the style of what you're wearing compared to just sexiness, if that makes sense. That's one of the biggest, 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 the top thing that I think has changed for me when it comes to fashion. It's not only just playing around with fabrics and, and color scheme, but not focusing so much on like fitted, where I look sexy in this type of outfit, the sexiness of it. Um, so. If that makes sense, uh, that's the best way I can explain it at this current moment. That leads me into the next category is fitted outfits. I used to buy things to fit to my body, not focusing so much on buying outfits that fit to your body, um, but being comfortable in tailoring your outfit to your body. Um, if that makes sense, those are two very different things. So when I walk into the stores now, and I, I, I'm, I'm more open-minded with what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a pants that's gonna fit my body perfectly. I am just looking for style. I'm looking for what matters to me, like what are things that I think are gonna be cool pieces, fashion pieces to have in my closet. Um, obviously, there are limitations in these areas when it comes to things like blazer. You can only size up a couple of sizes. I've talked about this one on my channel is um, I used to buy a jeans that fit my body exactly and increase or stuff like that in it. I wanted it just snug. Obviously, the time does matter. Society also goes into what is fashionable. So we are seeing a lot of looser fitted outfits. And I just feel like throughout my years in styling outfit, I feel the most confident in this area right here. Um, so yeah, whenever I go into the store, um, I pay attention to can I tailor this item to my body or is it really difficult for me to tailor it to my body. Um, it's easier for you to keep things longer in your closet, especially when you go through fluctuations in your body. Staying away from dressy outfits, staying away from, and this might have came with maturity a little bit, but I doubt it because not everybody around me really utilizes dressy outfits, dressy with quotation. What I mean by this is um, is sweaters type of outfits, uh, dressy pants or trousers type of outfits. I used to stay away from things like blazer or things like trousers or things like button downs. Um, that sort of, that's what I mean. So once I stared away from thinking that the only time that it was appropriate for me to wear these items, I used to have a very select few items in my closet for just in case I went to a job interview type of thing, just in case I was in a church setting and I needed to wear these outfits and I really am serious. I had like a, I had probably like two trousers just in case and I probably had like few blazers just in case that sort of thing um because i never thought that i could wear that on a day-to-day -day basis is what i mean and once i changed that idea and i started playing around with dressy outfits dressy or you know what i mean i can't go back i can't imagine just it's i feel like if you are attracted to chic and simple style, which is what I would describe my style to be. Um, I'm very simple in how I dress, casual chic, 
type of look is how I describe it. And I think a huge part of that is sweaters, dress pants, uh, button downs. Um, I haven't wore crop top in so long. Y'all remember when crop tops having a choke hole? <laughs> I want to talk about jeans versus trousers um, just having a good mixture of that in my closet not only wearing jeans the idea of jeans being um, the only way to wear casual outfits um, because it has given me a lot more room to play play around with outfits now I figured out how to wear dress pants and run to the grocery store I figured out how to wear dress pants to the club I figured out how to wear, you know, like it's on a day-to-day -day basis and make them casual. That piece right there. It's just having a good balance between the two um, is what I would say. The next mistake that I used to make that I try not to make at this current point in my life is following trends. I've always tried to be cautious of trends because trends can be you know good but trends of course can be bad if you're spending a lot of money uh, based off the current trend you know I've always tried to show or explain um, the importance of having a basic having your basic style having what speaks to you the most um, the color way that you feel the most comfortable in using that as your base and then when it comes to trend really trying to follow the trend that you can already incorporate in your wardrobe um, one year specifically that I really fell into trend was those ruffle type of tops it was the season of when was this this was what two years ago those ruffles type of dresses ruffles type of uh, tops that were off the shoulder um, y'all know the, what, what I'm talking about like those type of dresses I bought a lot of them and at the time those were the biggest trend dresses Tops, they looked like that with high-waisted jeans that was what was in um, and I just spent too much money on those type of tops and dresses and some of them I had to get rid of that still had tags on them because they they're those flirty girly type of tops that do fit in other people's style in other people's closet it just doesn't fit in mine because my style has never been that it used to be actually I shouldn't say never been but my style isn't usually that flirty girly type of look I don't really care too much about that sort of style especially in this moment so that's something I try to be conscious of within the past a uh, few uh, within the past year trends like bright pink or like bright colors being out um, being conscious of how many bright t-shirts I was buying I was very conscious of it um, and I only bought color wave color waves items that I knew I could put in my closet and this is something that I've said to you guys I try to put the colors in my accessories as opposed to out like clothing pieces because um, once you have your core outfits core pieces basics if you can add as the season change you can add whatever it is you need to change up that outfit I, I strongly just believe in that so being clear and being conscious of the trends that are going on at the time and making sure that those are items you can incorporate in your closet is what I would say uh, it does come with trial and error and it does come with um, trying new things at the same time so yeah you have to make certain mistakes to figure out what it is you like that wraps up this video guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i highly i will really appreciate it i'll catch you guys when i catch you stay humble stay fashionable bye guys